Hello everyone. Welcome to Basics e-learning. In lesson number 10 video, I am going to explain how to check whether the given signal is even signal or odd signal. This part 3 is the last subsection on even and odd signals. Before you get start solving the problems, get a clear understanding on concepts first. Hence, I am leaving a previous link in the description box which explains the basics of even and odd signals. Please go through it once. The first problem here is check whether the given signals are even or odd and justify your answer. Before starting the problem, one should be clear with the concept. Even signals are always symmetric along y-axis whereas the odd signals are anti-symmetric about y-axis. Means for even signal you have to check for the symmetry on first and second quadrant whereas for the odd signal check for the symmetry in the first and third quadrant. This is the simple technique. Even in odd signals are always mutually exclusive. So if the signal is said to be an even signal, it cannot be an odd signal. Similarly, if the signal is an odd signal, it cannot be an even signal. However, the signal can neither be odd nor be even possibility is there. So, let us start solving. See the first problem. You are given with the triangular pulse which is extended from minus 1 to plus 1 here. Right? Now, if you see here, the signal on the first quadrant is like this, a triangular, right angle triangle pulse. So, fold your paper along your y-axis, then this, the left hand side pulse, whatever is there, it has to exactly fall on your right hand side pulse. That is called your symmetry around y-axis. So, if it is falling exactly, then you can say it's an even signal. Yes, the signal is extended from 0 to 1 on your right hand side. Similarly, it is extended from 0 to minus 1 on your left hand side also. So, the signal is even signal or else you can write x of minus t is equal to x of minus t, x of t. So, the given signal is even signal. So, the first signal given is even signal. Let us move to the second signal here. If you see the signal, the signal is extending in first quadrant and third quadrant. Check whether this is an odd signal or not. So, the signal here is extended from 0 to 1 on the positive side with an amplitude of 1. The similar type of signal is here on the third quadrant extended from 0 to minus 1 with an amplitude of minus 1. That is x of t is equal to minus x of minus t. So, the signal is odd signal here. Coming to the third signal given, you have pulses that is, it is of discrete type signal. So, discrete time signal you are given with. So, at n is equal to 1, I have an amplitude of 1. Then at n is equal to 2, I have an amplitude of 2. Coming to the third quadrant, at n is equal to 1, I have an amplitude of minus 2. So, it has to be actually minus 1. Then only I can say it is an odd signal. x of 1 is equal to 1 means x of minus 1 should be of minus 1. According to the property, x of n is equal to minus of x of minus n. So, this is neither an odd signal nor an even signal. Coming to the fourth signal here, again the signal is extended in the first quadrant and also in the third quadrant. Simply after observing the signal itself, we can say definitely it is an odd signal because x of t is equal to minus x of minus t. You can observe the symmetry in the first quadrant and also in the third quadrant. You have the same extension on the time scale and also on the y axis. The next question that is question number 5, they have given it as signal that is of triangular form extended in first quadrant and also in the third quadrant. So, by simple observation one can know that x of t is equal to minus x of minus t. So, the given signal is odd signal. Similarly, the sixth signal 
this is also from 0 to 1 on the right hand side and 0 to minus 1 on the left hand side both have same amplitude so if you fold the paper along your y axis you will get the similarity so this is even signal similarly seventh signal is also a even signal and even signal very similar to your sixth signal here you are given with a triangular pulse but this is a rectangular pulse having the same amplitude on both the sides and time is also 0 to 1 this side and 0 to minus 1 on the left hand side. Coming to the 8th signal here, the signal is extended in 1st quadrant and 3rd quadrant. Check whether there is any symmetry in these two quadrants or not. So, in the 1st quadrant, the signal is a sine wave from 0 to 1. Coming to the 3rd quadrant, you have two signals that are extended. The sine signals 0 to minus 1 and minus 1 to 2, two pulses you have. So, this is not, a, not an odd signal. Similarly, it is not an even signal also. So, this is neither even nor odd. The ninth signal given here is like this. Extended from minus 2 to 2. So, if you observe, the signal is in first quadrant and third quadrant. So, possibility is there for the odd signal. Check out whether there is any symmetry or not. So, the signal have an amplitude of 0 from 0 to 1. Similarly, on the left hand side, you have 0 to minus 1 of an amplitude of 0. 1 to 2, you have an amplitude of 1. Yes, this is also minus 1 to 2, minus 2, you have an amplitude of minus 1. So, the property is satisfied. That is, x of minus t is equal to minus x of t right check out here the amplitudes also on the time scale that is x of 0 is equal to 0 x of 1 will be what minus x of minus 1 correct x of 1 is amplitude of 1 minus x of minus 1 will have an amplitude of minus 1 so right so this is satisfied so everywhere you can just substitute the time scale and apply your amplitude check whether it is satisfied or not so for this signal it is satisfied so the given signal is no doubt odd signal coming to the 10th signal here the signal is extended from minus 1 to 1 and it is in first quadrant and second quadrant check whether the symmetry is satisfied or not if the symmetry satisfies then we say it is a even signal so just fold along your y axis then you will get the waveform will be falling like this right so both the signals are not falling on each other so definitely it's not an even signal and also it's not an odd signal also so the given signal is neither even signal nor odd signal the next question is Prove that integral minus a to a x of t dt is equal to 2 times integral 0 to a x of t dt if x of t is an even, even signal. So, let us take LHS and try to prove this RHS part. So, you are given with integral minus a to a x of t dt. Given x of t is an even signal. So, what is the condition for x of t? x of t is equal to x of minus t when x of t is an even signal. So, this condition we have to use and prove the RHS. So, now I am writing this as minus a to 0 x of t dt plus I am just splitting this 0 to a x of t dt. Right? So, changing the order of integration here I am writing 0 to minus a x of t dt plus 0 to a x of t dt. Right. Now, if you take t is equal to minus t, dt will be minus dt in the first term such that it will become 0 to a x of minus t dt right? plus integral 0 to a x of t dt. 
So, if the signal is an even signal, we know x of minus t is equal to x of t. So, substitute 0 to a x of t dt plus integral 0 to a x of t dt. So, this is nothing but your RHS. So, 2 times 0 to a x of t dt. So, that is nothing but your RHS. So, hence the given condition is proved for us. The next problem is prove that integral minus a to a x of t dt is equal to 0 if x of t is odd. So, the condition for x of t is odd means x of minus t is equal to minus x of t. So, let us solve this problem. So, again I am taking the LHS part and trying to prove for the RHS part. So, minus a to a x of t dt so, I am splitting this one as minus a to 0 x of t dt plus 0 to a x of t dt. Changing the order of integration minus 0 to a, 0 to minus a here x of t dt plus 0 to a x of t dt, right? So, if if you replace t by minus t, then dt will become minus dt. Such that this minus dt I am considering so that it will be, you can write it as 0 to a x of minus t dt plus 0 to a x of t dt. So, according to the given condition, x of minus t is nothing but x minus x of t. So, I am writing 0 to a x of t that minus I am writing it outside dt plus integral 0 to a x of t dt. So, these two will get cancelled. You leave with an answer of 0. The most frequently asked question on even and odd signals here is Prove that the product of two even signals or two odd signals is an even signal. Whereas, the product of an even and odd signals is an odd signal. That is, even into even is equal to even. Odd into odd is also equal to even. But, odd into even or even into odd is an odd signal. So, how to prove this one? Case 1 I am considering that is, both the signals I am taking it as even signal. So, x1 of n and x2 of n, I am considering both of them as even signal. So, the condition for even signal is x of n has to be equal to x of minus n. Let us multiply. I am calling that as y of n, x1 of n multiplied by x2 of n. So, replace n by minus n. So, y of minus n is equal to x1 of minus n multiplied by x2 of minus n. So, the product that is x of n multiplied by x2 of n, x1 of n multiplied by x2 of n is equal to y of n. If x1 of n and x2 of n both are even signals, y of n has to be an even signal that I have to prove. Means, y of n should be equal to y of minus n. So, this I need to prove. So, check it out. On my right hand side, x1 of minus n and x2 of minus n. As I am taking x1 of n and x2 of n are even signals. So, x1 of minus n and x2 of minus n should be equal to x1 of n multiplied by x2 of n according to the property. So, you know x1 of n and x2 of n is nothing but your y of n. So, that is equal to y of n. Hence, it is proved y of minus n is equal to y of n. So, the product of two even signals is an even signal. Considering case 2, I need to prove that the product of two odd signals is an even signal. Let us consider x1 of n and x2 of n are two odd signals here. So, take y of n as the product x1 of n multiplied by x2 of n. So, we need to prove y of n is an even signal. So, for odd signal, the property is 
x of minus n has to be equal to minus of x of n. Whereas for an even signal, the property is here x of minus n is equal to x of n. So I need to prove y of n is an even. That means y of minus n is equal to y of n we need to prove here. So for that take n is equal to minus n. So I am just replacing wherever n is there with minus n. So x1 of minus n multiplied by x2 of minus n. As x1 and x2 and x are odd signals. So this is the property. So write it x1 of minus as minus n as minus x1 of n multiplied by x2 of minus n as minus x2 of n. So minus of minus plus that is equal to x1 of n multiplied by x2 of n which is nothing but your y of n. So prove that y of minus n is equal to y of n. So the product of two odd signals is an even signal. Now I am trying for case 3 that means prove that the product of an even and odd signal is an odd signal. So let us consider two signals x1 of n and x2 of n. Let us say x1 of n be an even signal and x2 of n be an odd signal. For an even signal x1 of n has to be equal to x1 of minus n. Being an odd signal it has to satisfy the property x2 of minus n is equal to minus x2 of n. Right? Now let us multiply both these signals and call it as y of n. x1 of n multiplied by x2 of n. So I need to prove this y of n is an odd signal means y of minus n has to be minus y of n. So replace n by minus n here. I will get x1 of minus n multiplied by x2 of minus n. As x1 of n is an even signal, so x1 of minus n can be replaced with x1 of n here. Being x2 of n an odd signal, x2 of minus n is nothing but minus x2 of n. So write it down, minus x2 of n. So what is x1 of n multiplied by x2 of n? That is our original y of n signal. So minus y of n. So if you see here, y of minus n, we have proved it as minus y of n, which is nothing but the property of odd signal is satisfied here. So we can say y of n is an odd signal, means the product of an even signal and an odd signal is an odd signal. For more videos, please do like, share, subscribe to our channel. Let us know your suggestions and queries in the comment box. Thank you.